What's up everybody, welcome back to another movie review. Today we watch the Super Mario Brothers movie. And a lot of people, and by a lot of people I mean my hater of a sister, she thinks this movie was garbage. I went with two buddies, one of the buddies thought it was a two star movie, the other buddy thought it was a four and a half star movie like me. I thought it was a four and a half star movie. Um, I think the cast is great, I think the animation looks the best it's looked in a long time. Um, obviously the technology is getting better, so it look, should look great, but I think it is the best animation has looked in any movie so far. It just looks so good, um, and it looks like real, even though it is animation. You're looking at it like, damn, that looks so realistic. Like, it's just incredible. Um, Jack Black as Bowser, fantastic. Couldn't have cast that role any better. Um, Keenan-Michael Key, got his high voice on from Toad. Um, he got, just, you know, the pitch was up here, and then it had to go up here, you know, like, I can't even make my voice go that high, even if I wanted to, but, Mario, solid movie, comment below, what are your thoughts on the Super Mario movie, um, I believe I've already talked about this one on the channel briefly when it came out back in March or April, I don't even remember when this came out, but it's on Peacock now, so go check it out, um, if you haven't seen the movie, Go check it out. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. Uh, my link for my letterbox will be in the description below. Also, my link for my Twitter. You can add me questions on there. If you have any movie recommendations, what I should watch next, comment that below. But overall, Super Mario, four and a half stars from me. And I think Chris Pratt, Charlie Day do a great job. Um, the Queen's Gambit girl is uh, Anna Taylor-Joy, I believe her name is, is Peach. She's great. Seth Rogen as a... Uh, Donkey Kong, he's fantastic as well. And then there's a post-credit scene. I won't spoil it for you guys, but post-credit scene teases maybe a, a future movie. And, uh, and, you know, really shout out to Nintendo. They made that movie for, I think, $70 million budget. They made $1.3 billion. You know, so they're, what, $1.23 billion in the, in the green. So I think Nintendo is now a profitable company, and they're ecstatic about it. So they're like, they're on to the next one. They're happy as can be. But, uh... Go check out the past movie reviews I did. I just did a great one over the weekend for Captain America the Winter Soldier that I'm quite proud of. So go check out that video if you would for me. And if this is the first time you've seen my face, my name is Big Cam. Please smash that subscribe button. And uh, stay tuned for future videos. We'll be doing more movie reviews throughout the year. And uh, we're going to be covering Ahsoka every week in August once that show comes out. So and into September. So stay tuned if you're a Star Wars fan. I also have a movie review coming out soon for... Uh, Star Wars The Phantom Menace, and I also watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3 came out on Disney Plus over the weekend, so I rewatched that, it got my tears on again, that movie really destroys me, and uh, James Gunn, thank you for that one, um, but I'll see you guys in the next video, and thank you guys for coming on by, and be safe, be well, peace.